SL93 boxing. I'm back with a quick video. You know, um, there was rumors before. Well, actually, I don't know if it was rumors. It was just info, uh, news from BoxingScene.com, I believe. And uh, in there, basically, Terence Crawford apparently, uh, well, actually, Manny Pacquiao apparently uh, asked for 20 million, which. Um, for most, a lot of boxing fans saw it as Manny Pacquiao pricing himself out, and I, sorry, and I do to a certain extent as well. Twenty million. I don't think Terence Crawford can. I mean, yeah, you can probably generate twenty million, but well, can you? I don't, I don't even know. I don't think that. I think that fight, if it generates, it'll just about generate twenty million. I don't think it'd be a huge. I mean, every Pacquiao fight is gonna be a big fight, but I don't think that'd be as big of a fight as people, uh, boxing fans, may think. The hardcore boxing fans. Terence Crawford is not that big of a name. That doesn't mean that he's not special. He's he's very special fighter. He's a he's a very good talent, and you know in his uh, recent performances he has shown that he has a very good talent. He has um he can he's actually one of the best fighters out there in boxing right now. And uh, I believe Terence Crawford is within top five pound for pound. Or like I hope he is because I don't really pay too much attention to it. So I could be wrong about the top five pound for pound list. The so-called official ringside or whatever they want to call it and you know um rightfully so there's many fighters that i hear uh, should be top five triple g this and that but you know some fighters that are not out there i think danny garcia deserves to be pound for pound top five C uh, canelo uh, man many fighters man many fighters um, but see here's the thing terence crawford deserves to be in top five he he can box he can back he can move he can just be flat footed and bang with you he can um he can be a boxer punch he can do it there's not there's pretty much not a single thing that i've seen i've not seen terence crawford be able to do i think he's a very versatile fighter he's very young he's very athletic very uh he has power he has speed he has he's intelligent he's not just a, some dumb brawler you know he has heart he's got the dog in him and all that shit but see like there was rumors coming out and you know freddie roach claimed that um crawford asked for seven million now crawford refuted that and saying that he is bullshit you know manny pacquiao asked for 20 million so who's um ducking who's pricing themselves out now you know what i'm gonna lean towards i'm gonna believe terence crawford on this one honestly because um I'm gonna side with them as well. Manny Pacquiao, uh, or at least Team Pacquiao, recently have not been doing some have been doing some um, stupid shit like some shit that's not the best for boxing. You know, they say that Manny Pacquiao's um, he hasn't got anything to prove. He's a champ. He's a form. Um, he's a many time world champion. He's a Hall of Fame legend. Yeah, that's true. But if you're in for boxing, then what the hell do you expect, right? If Floyd Mayweather, because apparently there's uh, rumors. Um, of him may possibly fight Jeff Horn or even rumors about him Ricky fighting Ricky Burns, right? If if look, here's the thing. If Floyd Mayweather gets so much backlash from fighting Andre Berto, and he got some backlash from my to be honest, that was I didn't like that fight. When it was made that before it was made I didn't like it. When it was made I didn't like it. After the fight, I didn't like the fight. So but you know, Andre Berto was a former world champion. He's been up in the big stage. He's a very physically talented fighter. Um, he has a lot of experience in the elite level. He's a hard puncher, fast guy. So you know, if Andre Berto is a cherry pick to Floyd Mayweather, then how can Jeff Horn not be a cherry pick to Manny Pacquiao? As presumably that they're both elite fighters, which they are. How how can you know, see, the, how can that happen? Like, what? there's so much double standard going on in boxing, and that's just one of them. This is just one of them, right? Manny Pacquiao's ducked. Um, I personally feel he priced himself out against Adrian Broner. I feel like Manny Pacquiao has uh, priced himself out against uh, Danny Garcia. Manny Pacquiao's avoided some competition after the Floyd Mayweather loss. I mean, who has he fought after Floyd? He fought the Bradley fight, which is, I mean... No one wanted to see that, man. Bradley's a good fighter, but no one wants to see that. That's twice. You'll be, you. To be honest, I kind of, even though Bradley's a top fighter, I would, I saw that as a bit of a cherry pick anyway, because 
normally you cherry pick, you know, what's a cherry pick? A cherry pick is well, yeah, you're selectively choosing opponents that will be easy for you. And obviously Bradley's not no easy uh He's not seen as an easy opponent and definitely not, you know, he's he's a world-class fighter. He's a top world-class fighter. But the thing about Timothy Bradley is Manny Pack has already beaten him twice. So Manny Pack is basically picking a fighter that he knows he can beat because he already beat him twice convincingly. I mean, the first fight, robbery or whatnot, he beat him, right? Anyone could get robbed. So... Technically, that's cherry pick. You're already picking a fighter that you know you can beat. You're already beaten. That's cherry picking. Whether Manny Pacquiao side or Bob Arum's doing it, Manny Pacquiao um, blatantly ducked the Mekon, which is a which would have been probably his biggest pay. I mean, Floyd was wasn't didn't seem to be wanting to fight Pacquiao for a rematch. I don't think that's what he was interested in. So, I mean, you. Danny Garcia would have been a big fight. Adrian Bronner would have been a big fight. I think American would have been big, if not the biggest fight. Um, yeah, I think they're all... I mean, even if he didn't fight American, he could have fought Danny Garcia. He could have fought Adrian Bronner. I mean, he could have fought someone... He could have fought Terence Crawford. There's so many good fights out there. But now nah, he decided to fight Jesse Vargas, which uh, was... I didn't like it, to be honest. And um, I didn't really even watch the... I watched the full five once, I think, but I didn't even pay too much attention to it. So Jesse Vargas winning, I thought, watched in HD. Some people apparently didn't watch in HD, so um, they just, they thought it was a lot closer. But, you know, I thought Pacquiao won. But either way, man, it's a, <sighs> Pacquiao's a legendary fighter, right? He should be picking, even if it's past his prime, he should be picking um, decent oppositions. He's capable of beating uh, good oppositions. I think he's, a lot of people underestimate him saying that Kitama will whoop him and things, and Kitama could whoop him, but you know, I'm not so sure if Kitama would, would uh, simply just go out there and whoop him. You know, I don't think he could he could fight a better opposition than Jesse Vargas and definitely better than Jeff Horn. I think uh, Manny Pacquiao is trying to look for the most amount of reward with the least amount of risk, which I can't blame him for. You know, Manny Pacquiao, he wants that money. 20 million, I mean, yeah, it's, it's too much, but at the same time, I can't blame him too much. So that's really all I have to say. I'm SR93 Boxing. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you think Manny Pacquiao is lying? Do you think he's telling the truth? Do you think Terence Crawford is lying or telling the truth? Um, yeah, I'll be back.